don't the politicians do something? Well, okay, so yes. Um, it then cuts to the president of the banks, the president of the uh, real estate, the just like really weird titles. It never says like it's not like the president of J.P. Morgan and Chase. No, it's just the president of banks. Brought to you by banks. J.P. Morgan. And it's the exact same green screen image, so they must be standing there with him. And what begins is them committing mass suicide. Yeah. Well, like, no, it cuts to them either pulling out guns and shooting them in the face, or I guess future scenes where they're like locking themselves in their garage and exposing themselves to carbon monoxide, <laughs> or like hanging themselves. Because they all just admit to their wrongdoings. So they're all, all just they like, yes, just it's all true. We fucking we 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 were stealing money from all the, the good little girls and boys. Now we have to kill ourselves. <laughs> like, why admit it when you could just, like, kill it? I don't know. I feel like that's, like, adding too much dialogue for a character. It, just, it would make more sense to have you kill yourself so you don't have to, like, say you admit it. But just, like, watching it shows that you admit it. But also, like, like people are just... at A lot of the people are just shooting themselves at this press conference. And everyone's just like, Yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hated that guy! He took my money! Oh, I actually liked him. He actually gave my daddy a job. <laughs> and that, everyone, that is... I forget the name of this movie. Faithful Findings. Faithful Findings. All right. All right, so, Paul, what do you think of Faithful Findings? <laughs> um, uh, um, I wish I just saw it, honestly. <laughs> it is I on mean... uh, Amazon Prime, if you have it. Yeah, it's on it Amazon on? Prime? That's a steal. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually good. Right. He's, he's upgrading. Along along with several other Neil Breen movies. Yeah, no, we definitely have to try to like watch more of that. Well, I feel like our explanation of the Neil Breen movie was great, and we should probably like uh end it right here and start the next episode. <laughs> let's let's plays her over. Alright, let's plays over. Congrats. Goodbye. Hi. Okay, so guys, I have uh, three topics if you want to cover it. We can cover, so last time, John, you weren't here, we covered um, the worst cartoons that uh, came out in the 2000s. Oh, great, yes. So great. what we could do, we have options of, we could talk about what's, cons according to IMDb, the best cartoons of the 2000s. Ooh. We could do the, um, the because this will probably be released in late January, we could do the best and worst of Fuck You, It's January. Uh, for 2017, or like overall over the years? Overall, I found two lists of the um, lowest and best rated movies that were released in January. Okay, I could do that. Um, or we could just talk, well, I, I think we talked uh, enough about um, bad movies, good bad movies. Oh, well, we just talked about one bad movie, but... I, yeah, I, but I, we I, talked about it for half an hour. Okay. That is true. Um, Want to just do best cartoons? Um, uh, Andy, I yeah. think I... Yeah. All right. All right, I'm just going to pop up. So, <clears throat> Maybe so we start, starting, like, you know, just basically start. Hey everyone, Kingdom Hearts, it's happening. I'm yeah. sorry. So let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> remember this level? I don't. It, <laughs> you remember the 90s? Whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, the 90s things. Only 90s kids will remember that. All right, so shall we begin? <laughs> yes, let's begin. All right, so um, last time of our cartoons list, we covered the worst movies of the 2000s. Um, I've been doing a bit of research into, I'm looking at a IMDb article of the um, by Wallace F.R. Corey of what he considers the best movies of the 2000s, and I think we should give a, bit of, a little bit of insight into our relationship to these cartoons and what we actually think of them. Now, do these also include, like, Adult Swim, like, cartoons when they were first starting out? Yes. All right, great. Yeah, and that brings us to number one, his number one, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Um, I remember we watched, I remember, I think, I think I was, I think we were 14, Andy. 
Uh, and we were watching the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie at like my house, and my mom and my brother were just like weirded out by us, just like, why are you watching this? And like there was a part where they kill Meatwad, and then Neil Peart brings him back to life by just playing a drum solo. Yeah. And then they kill someone else, and everyone's just like, oh no, Neil Neil Peart, no, no, no need. No, yeah, they kill uh, Doctor Weird's assistant. Um, yeah, I can agree. I I loved Aqua Teen Hunger Force for its um, eccentric and gory, weird ass shit. I actually just rewatched the whole series, like not even huh. a week ago. I have seen two episodes in the movie. Yeah, I think I saw the movie with you, Andy. Probably. You probably showed us a lot of things, Andy. I'll, I'll tell you. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. No, but I just I remember. Um, I can still do a good meat wad impression. That's all I know. Um, don't make me do the cast, of course. No. Yeah, no, please don't. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a that's a cartoon with a weird movie because it yeah you know, just. Well, did... I mean, the, the way it looked, it just looked like a bunch of ideas that they wanted for a TV show, but it just didn't work out. So, you know, what what about you, Paul? What's your relationship with Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Even though you're oh, uh, my wake relationship up, with it is, I've seen a couple episodes, but honestly, I'm not. I don't remember many of it. They're just not... just because like they they kind of meander, which I don't. I'm not saying that's like a problem per se. It's just like that's the show. It's like what happened that episode? <laughs> exactly. Like, like because it always ends. It doesn't ever end cleanly, like, ever. I think I've seen, like, episodes where, like, Carl's been left on, like, another planet. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> stuff like that. It's like, what the fuck, guys? Why am I here? So, so here's a little, uh, little, little tidbit for you. So, th- Aquaman Hunger Force is now over. It was on the air for, like, what, 15 years? I would say that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And... To like for their final episode, it was it, it it's it's a pretty good like. Aqua Teen really, like really got affected by seasonal rot. Like I want to say the first four seasons are real good, but then once they start changing the names every season, <clears throat> they get really bad until this last season, which was Aqua Teen Hunger Force Forever. Um, which they titled that because they knew for a fact that this would be their last season. Yep. Well, didn't they, like, release the season as normal, and then all of a sudden, like, it, en- it looked like it ended, and then a few weeks later they released an episode online or something well, like yeah, that? Well, yeah, I'm getting to that. Um, so the, the final episode that aired on TV was, like, like, sort of faux heartfelt in Aqua Team's irreverent style. Um... Where like Meatwad gets uh, like like Frylark and uh, Master Shake. Frylark, Frylock, Frylock, yeah. T- t- whatever, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Frylock, I'm gonna keep saying it now. It's it's stuck in my brain forever. <laughs> Duke um, Frylark, <laughs> Frylock. How the hark! How the angels sing. Um, he <laughs> his crystal is running out. Oh yeah, and so is so is Master Shakes. So they have to like, like fight some clams to get the crystals back, and both of them fail. So Master sure Shakes murdered by clams. Show. Uh, Frylock dies, and Meatwad like moves on with his life. He he meets a woman. They get married. They have two children. Um, and that seems to be the final episode. So then. Oh, Andy, look, it's the best boss part. Right. So, so yeah, I, I I don't even think it was two weeks later. I feel like it might have been the same day that that, that episode aired. They, they released an online episode, which is about the fact that... Uh, um, and it's actually, like, that, that episode that they released is one of my favorite episodes of the whole series. Shit. Where... F- Frylock... Um, Carl and some guy from Highlander <laughs> all discover how to become like completely invincible and immortal. And in the meantime, Master Shake finds religion in the holy book 
the, the bibble. <laughs> okay, that happens. Was... That was great. I've seen that clipped online. That's it's, like... it's really. I, I definitely. Do you deny that the one. bibble? But it, it the 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 ending, the after credits ending is incredible. I don't necessarily want to spoil it, but it okay. ends on such a such a great Adult Swim anti joke, and that's how this fifteen year old cartoon ends. Damn. I mean, like, it, I, it, it looks like they start to, like, follow a plot, because, like, I remember every time watching Aqua Teen, they were just, they had a plot for, like, half a second, and they'd be like, oh, we need to do this, and that just completely changes. They're like, eh, no, I don't want to. It's like the writers were just so lazy, you know, just thinking, oh, you know, this would make an interesting, like, story, and then... That was more of a, of a late, like, later season problem. Really? I the always first... thought it was the first one. The first couple seasons, I mean, the first couple episodes are very meandering. Yeah. But they tended to always be about, like, a singular thing. Like, there's one villain that they're dealing with, or, like, one event that they have to kerfuffle their way around. <laughs> yeah. 